Hello everyone and welcome back to Rimworld, where currently Dark Havoc and Lady Wolfhard are out on on an adventure. Hopefully, it's gonna be a bit of a bit of a rediscovery road trip. They're gonna come back from friends. The odds of that happening are fairly slim, especially with Lady Wolfhard having to eat raw people on the trip, but uh at the very least, Dark Avak and Yoko are having a great old time. Aika and your friend, meanwhile, are trying to prepare the defences for an incoming raid. Now, the raid itself is not particularly uh, particularly worrisome, if I'm perfectly honest. We've just got Rich over here with a pistol and Chuckles with a machine gun pistol. So, nothing heavily damaging, and it doesn't look like there's uh, any other particular threat hanging out over here. So, hopefully, with the addition of a couple more steel uh, spike traps, we should be good. Now, Ika and Lady Wolfheart are both quite close to breaking point. Uh, they are not happy on any level and uh, are soon going to break. Evil friend, I'm afraid I actually need you. Oh dear. Oh dear, you can't build them. That is not at all good. Right, I'm gonna need you to, to work on this then, Ica. I'm so sorry, but you're not gonna be going back just yet. Uh, though you could do with some recreation. I need you to build these traps. These ones, well, we've already got two down there, so we should be hopefully okay as far as things go. Let's see how this goes. Ica is not particularly fast at uh, working though. Uh, slowly building up, he's got a skill of four, whereas evil friend, quite a low two and this is why quite often when i'm uh, setting up any kind of challenging scenario i make it a point that the person that we have going on that especially in a rich explorer there has to be at least one person in the colony that has at least four ideally a lot more with construction but at least four can you finish this one there we go hopefully we can get that uh, that done before you move on to the next uh are they on the move no uh, no here they go Right, it's okay. Well, let's see which way they decide to come through. They're going for the top, right? That means, Ica, you need to bail. You need to bail right now. You've currently got a heavy SMG, which is going to be quite nice. Evil friend, what we haven't done for you, my good man, is get you uh, an assault, uh, a weapon. So you're going to need to move quickly to grab that. Hopefully, though, our friends over here will come a cropper of the delightful little traps we left for them. There's one, and they're already fleeing. We're not going to push our luck. Actually, evil friend, you are going to push our luck. Uh, let's get you down here, please, and thank you. Let's see what you can do, because <laughs> Rich is like, nope, 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 nope. Things that I can't see just killed my friend. I know better than to toy with this kind of magic. Uh, though Rich obviously will understand it's a trap, but still, there's got to be a part of you that's like, no, no, something invisible just killed someone right next to me. It could have been me, in fact, but it wasn't. So I'm just going to count my lucky stars and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm noping straight out of this situation. No, thank you. Uh, and uh, you really can't argue with that kind of logic. Let's be honest. I, I would mock them if they if they had just charged straight in. It's like, yeah, this place is obviously trapped. Yet I'm going to go to the most obvious place for me to go. And, uh, you know, because no one's going to put traps in the likely places that I would take cover. No, they wouldn't be that diabolical, surely. Well, well, well. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. Yeah, this is not going to be good for you, Ica. I am truly, truly sorry. That being said, you know what? You know what? Let's get some of this corn done. Ica, work on that first. I know you're hungry. You can still go for a little bit. And honestly, eating raw corn will be better for you than eating raw person. All right. Let's be sensible about your needs right now. And your needs are to not have to do that. Have we got a cook? Ica is a, keep, is a cook. They will cook, at the very least. Uh, though whether they should or not, that's another matter entirely. Honestly, evil friend uh, is as well. And... Uh, uh, what are your needs right now? You can survive it. You could you could taste the human flesh and still be generally speaking all right. After that though, I want you cooking some meals. Okay, so one one person is left and that's all right. On their way back, I'm gonna have Dark Ava grab that corpse. The others can just ignore it for now. In fact, I'm gonna go as far as to cancel these two, uh, these uh, couple of traps from around the place. Let's get 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 them gone. There we are. Right, Ica, I think, you know what, just carry on, actually. 
We're not going to be sewing this room. This is going to become a bedroom. So that was the last food that we were going to have from. Oh, wait. Now, what have you got? What are you, in fact, carrying? I don't trust you. Oh, dear. Let's have a look. What was it made of? It was made of something that I can't tell. Well, this either made you much, much uh, uh, more unhappy or it didn't. So we're just going to have to hope that it was the latter rather than the former. Uh, with that, though, this, the grow zone can go. Uh, Ika, hopefully you can start work on uh, growing some more things, but you are in a pretty rough place. You're in a very, very rough place right now. I need to restore some outdoors entertainment. Let's pop this over here. I know it's not great, but it will encourage people to be outdoors at least a little bit. We don't want them to become cave adapted. Uh, not that cave adaption is really a thing in Rimworld, but it's effectively what we want to try and avoid. We don't want them to uh, spend so much time indoors that they go a bit stir crazy because heaven knows we're all dealing with enough of that right now. Uh, if I can if I can save you from, from that fate, I shall do my best to make that happen. Uh, when you wake up in the morning, could you clean up that area? In fact, once you're done with that, uh, I can't tell you to clean up the blood. Well, okay. Fair enough. Uh, should I pop that into the home zone just so that we can make sure that that happens? Might be worth it, actually. At the very least, let's, let's keep this area uh, cleaned up. I think that would be nice. We'll probably lay down some flagstone in time. Right, let's go ahead and head out to the world. Ooh, they are almost there. Fantastic news. Time to destination, 0.1 days. They may get there before they have to, to turn in for the night. Um, oh, well, you ran out of food. But that's actually perfectly fine. Uh, really? Oh, no. Ica, what happened? Ica? Catatonic. Well, evil friend, this is going to be a bit rough for you. First and foremost, rescue them. Then haul the food, and then rescue the weapon as well. These are three things that I need you to do right now. The problem is, Ica really was the only person that was going to grow anything. Okay. Well, evil friend, I'm going to give you the priority to sew. You're not going to be good at it, but at least you can do it. Right. Lady Wolfheart's caravan has arrived at Shafter. What? A questionable day. Let's go with questionable. Let's hope we don't get chaffed dead in our attempts to trade. Okay, despite the fact that there are some very interesting items for sale here, we came for food, so that is pretty much all that we're buying. We're not going to sell Yoko for 253. That's frankly an insult. What? A, a bionic wag? Yoko? Specifically, for what that dickens. Uh, nor are we going to purchase a uh, a new colonist. I'm afraid you're going to have to uh, earn your freedom elsewhere. Though you might have actually been a reasonable colonist to take, except for the staggeringly ugly trait, which would cause probably quite a lot of social fights. We're going to pick up two nutrient paste meals. They're rather expensive, but this will at least give Lady Wolfheart something to eat on the way back, and a uh, decent amount of meat from various other animals, bird meat and cobra meat specifically. We are also also picking up some medicine since it'll be useful to have around and we are selling pretty much everything else. The dusters particularly brought in a hefty price. Honestly, I'm starting to think that maybe we should just go into the production of human leather clothing to sell at the nearby, uh, nearby towns would uh, be a decent trade good. I was quite tempted to pick up the smoke, uh, sorry, the shield belt, but at 544, it wouldn't really afford us much opportunity to pick up any food, and that is ultimately the reason why we're here. So uh, we're just going to have to do our best. Now, Negotiator Lady Wolfheart is actually getting a 15% uh, better deal here than we would have gone otherwise, and since usually we're, we're buying things for 140% of their market value, that's actually quite good. Indeed, I'm fairly happy with that. We're only buying them for, I assume, 125%, unless it's like just 15% better of the 140% value, um, which would be slightly, slightly skewed. But either way, we're getting a better deal. We're getting more money for what we sell, and uh, we're buying things for less. So I'm completely okay with this. So this will give us uh, a bit of food. Now, unfortunately, some of that food will rot fairly quickly. So we now need to head 
on our way back. So let's get you back to base. If we could enter Noble Rest, it will take you exactly movement speed 13.5. Uh, tiles, so you'll be back there in one day. That means that the, the food that we've picked up won't yet have quite rotted, which is very, very good indeed. We'll also have a couple of extra berries as well. So that's not too bad. You're going to come back to Ica being just completely out of the count, but you know, these are the things uh, as the way they are. Ooh, where are you taking Ica? Oh, that is that, hmm. Uh, it's not exactly the best place to put him, I feel. Could you please? Rescue Ica and take them to Ica's bed instead. I feel that, that is a significantly better, better plan, the evil friend. Though, to be fair, you tried your best. So, you know, we're, we're going to give you a buy on that one. Uh, there we go. Just grab the everything. Termite, you're going to have to get uh, food another time, though. Evil friend really isn't the, the best person for this, I'm afraid. Uh, could you actually deliver some food? Uh, it would have been best if you hadn't taken the food away. But, uh, you know, mistakes were made. There you go. So, my, you can you can have some noms. Let's actually check in on you. Recruitment chances, you know, slightly rising. The resistance remaining is quite a lot. <sighs> okay, Lady Wolfhard is wandering around a psychotic state. This happened because of poor mood. The final straw was raw cannibalism. Well, that's why I bought the nutrient paste meals. I grant you, they're not exactly the nicest things to eat, but they were at least not people. You can't say fairer than that. I feel. <sighs> My lord. Oh, okay. Let's uh, find out where that just happened. Ooh, it's in Dark Avax room. Uh, evil friend, if you could get over there right now and put that out before it makes everything way too hot. There we go. We can get that little area repaired later as well. In fact, uh, we're going to need to flick the switch. And now this is why we make a point to uh, isolate the, the battery arrays is so that those explosions are never particularly aggressive. Every battery that is over 50% capacity has a small chance to cause a zzt event. So uh, having two that are over 50% is better than having four that are over 50%. And in this instance, we've still got as much of a chance to have a zzt event as we did before because these two batteries are over 50%. But there is combined much more power that it can dump into that explosion if it wanted to. So that's ultimately why we try to isolate the uh, the the arrays as we do. Okay, well, while we're waiting for Dark Havoc and Little Wolfheart to make their way back, we're just going to continue on po possibly getting some things fixed where we can. Evil Friend doesn't really have too much work that they can honestly do. They're not exactly the best worker, really, and uh, they need, uh, well, you know, they're, they're here and there. They're a little bit tired, unfortunately. I haven't slept in a while. It's hard to keep focused. Well, you know, hopefully you will go back to bed reasonably soon. But uh, right now, it was a little bit more important that you take care of, of, of Ica. Let's be honest, that they needed your help. And uh, hopefully, they'll be able to sleep off the worst of this. If we're super lucky, they'll be quite far through their psychic withdrawal before, uh, before they come to again. So that will just be a whole problem resolved. Oh, there we go. Caravan has arrived at Noble Rest. Marvellous. Absolutely wonderful. Let's actually have a quick look at people. Yoko, you're doing quite well. You just need a bit of a sleep. Dark Abbott, how about you? Let's uh, have a quick look at your needs. Uh, recreation rest, they're fairly low, but otherwise it's not too bad. You ate some raw food and that wasn't particularly uh, particularly nice, but uh, you ate an awful meal. I had to eat a disgusting, tasteless meal. I know it keeps you alive, but nobody wants to swallow that glop. Really? You ate the nutrient paste? Well, actually, you had completely run out of food, so uh, yeah, it makes sense. Okay, fair enough. Lady Wolfheart, yeah, you're still not really in the best best of ways, and being here in that state is doubly not the best, I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, well, uh, I guess this is the thing that, that's happening. Uh, at least we can unload our inventory in here. There we go. If we can get things uh, sorted, that would be ideal. There we are. And evil friend, you shouldn't be doing the, the cooking anymore, so I'm actually going to tell you no to that. Let's uh, let's pop you down onto less than four. The only reason why Ica is going to keep it is because Ica does have a passion. So not only will it mean that you'll learn the skill reasonably uh, quickly, but you will also gain a little bit of happiness when you're doing it. And that is actually fairly important to us for now. Uh, to those who were warning me that the uh, geotherm is actually uh, six by six rather than four by four, I had a funny feeling that it was, it was a bit larger than that. And that is why we've given it the uh, bit of room. I make this mistake frequently, which is why I had the funny feeling. Uh, but if we have a look at that, we've still got plenty of room. I'll probably cut back these 
to uh, farm tiles just to make a, a nice little path around the area but we don't really lose out on much with that one but thank you very much everyone for uh, for making sure that i was away right there we go uh evil friend thank you very much for cleaning out the room and in fact that room is uh spotless already well done it, it's back in a fairly good shape now lady wolfheart i super don't want you down there funnily enough i will have to arrest you if i if Oh, yeah, I think we're going to have to arrest Lady Wolfheart and then immediately release her. That is unfortunate at the extreme, if I'm perfectly honest. But I can't. Mm. I'll give her a little bit more time. She might come to of her own volition, but odds are she won't. And I don't want her to uh, build up too much toxic, uh, toxic um, exposure right now let's keep a very close eye on this the moment that gets up to 20 percent, we will arrest her if she is uh if she has progressed that far oh wow we made some really fancy meals that will hopefully help you out a little bit a defined meal there you go there you go it still won't you know accelerate coming out of the uh the catatonic state unfortunately that is just going to take as long as it takes but uh you'll also have the nice big catharsis boost there and the rest of our peeps will now actually have some some nice uh nice meals to eat so that should keep health up a little bit better All right it is unfortunately oh no there we go you knew what was about to happen <laughs> well done you're like right okay i pushed my luck far enough can't stay out here any longer. Got to get inside. Right, hopefully you can drop off the uh, items you brought with you. There you go. And immediately grab a nice meal. Finally start uh, addressing some of those issues. Then you're in a bit of pain. Darkness. Sick. Slept on the ground. Slept in the cold. Slept outside. Ate raw food. But, on, you know, on the plus side, I did have a fine meal. And um, I've got fairly low expectations. And uh, I just had, yeah, you know, I just, I just took a me day. It was a bit rough, but... I'm coming through it a little bit, and I, I can 100% appreciate that right now. Uh, right, let's uh, see if we can't get this place sorted out a little bit more. Uh, in terms of growing, well, I'm going to give everyone a little bit of uh, a chance to do it, both Lady Wolfheart and Evil Friend. But really, uh, I'm going to drop uh, Dark Avex. Well, actually, whilst Ica is out of the count, I will leave Dark Avex up on it too. He is... Uh, Technically speaking, one of one of our better ones. So only half as good as Ica, really. But whilst Ica is down, Dark Avak is the person that we want tending the crops, realistically speaking. Now, do we have enough slate blocks to cover the floor? We should do. So let's go ahead and get that all done. Uh, that should already be set up. So hopefully they'll start bringing those blocks reasonably soon. We'll see how it goes. But for the time being, I'm going to just let uh, the colony get back to uh, to some semblance of peace and quiet. We have got a lot of rice growing. I don't think we're going to hit food issues for the foreseeable future. The, the fine meals are going to be a, a treat that comes around once in a blue moon, unfortunately. That's just the way that's going to be because getting regular... Um, injections of non-human meat is a little bit tricky, but uh, at least they will have basic non-human meat meals generally quite available. Yoko, did you have to do that? Well, it looks like maybe that little trip actually worked out. Dark Avak is throwing a party for just him and Lady Wolfhard at the moment. Well, isn't that actually kind of sweet? Hopefully, hopefully their time. On that, on that journey, did actually have a uh, a reasonable improvement to their social standing. Let's have a quick look. Well, 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 it did actually. They had uh, quite a lot of chit chat. There's a lot of time when you're out and about, just you know, visiting uh, visiting new new places where the only thing you can do is talk. Now, unfortunately. The whole annoying voice thing, yeah. But the chit chat has has counterbalanced entirely the slighted, the three insults the Dark Havoc has uh, been paid by Lady Wolfheart. Perhaps even some of them may have legitimately just been misunderstandings, perhaps cultural differences. Uh, how, how is she to know what is and what isn't uh, offensive to to a man raised by wax at the end of the day? But the annoying voice is going to take a lot of hard work to uh, overcome, but that is, that is quite impressive. Okay, so uh, maybe, maybe some more trips in the future are in order. Okay, it has been uh, a solid day of rest. It's currently the 6th of September, and we are being raided. They're attacking 
immediately. Now, quick uh, recap of the colony. Things are going reasonably well. People are in fairly high spirits. Let's check in on an evil friend who is the, the person with the least uh, high uh, spirit at the moment. Recreation is unfilled. Sick. Uh, unfortunately, anyone who goes out, even for the slightest amount of time in Toxic Fallout, will get sick, and that's an automatic minus five. It's probably one of the biggest things about a tomb world scenario like this, in that everyone will reasonably speaking for all practical purposes you have a minus five morale on everyone all the time ratty apparel is also particularly uh, nasty disturb sleep that that's unfortunate and slightly impressive barrack but very soon we are going to have uh, lady wolfheart in this room or perhaps evil friend honestly lady wolfheart is normally the harder one to keep happy but uh, at the moment not as bad though they're always going to have the minor pain which is going to be a bit of an issue right let's have a quick look northern wasistan have arrived nearby and they're attacking immediately uh we have three people one with a shotgun one with a pistol and one with a knife that's not too difficult for us to deal with honestly our traps alone should deal with that uh fairly quickly as it happens uh but that being said perhaps we should make a point of getting another trap up and running let's go ahead and drop a little trap over here because we know this is a reasonable place though that being said they're coming up from down here so there's a much higher chance that they're going to go through this passageway dark avak if you could work on that one and who's the next best constructor that would probably be Lady Wolfheart. So, Lady Wolfheart, if you could work on this one for me, then that would be great. Let's get everyone up and about. Now, who is currently equipped? Lady Wolfheart has Gladius. Uh, got an AK. We have got nothing on Ica. Ica, we want you to go and grab something. Let's go and grab the heavy SMG there, please, and thank you. Uh, we have got a decent amount of rice coming in now. Honestly, we are probably past the point where our four colonists are going to have any trouble with food, and that is an amazing, amazing time uh, of things. Uh, Lady Wolfheart, how much uh, have we got there? We do not have enough. Are we even going to have enough? Full stop. Possibly not. Oh, my lord, there are more than I originally expected. Okay, you're not allowed out through there, but how many have we got coming over on this side? We've got Wolf with Molotovs. Uh, uh, is that Nardo with a knife and we've also got Wade over here okay well uh, Lady Wolfheart I think it's probably time that you prepare for combat let's have you in reserve evil friend I'm gonna want you in here uh, let's have you stirred over there Ica as soon as you've equipped that we'll get you in there Dark Havoc probably has enough time to finish this you might die on the traps that already exist well done, Dark Avak. That is actually pretty good. Now, they are going to try and get their way in over on this side. At the moment Ica has that weapon, uh, then I may have Ica just rush down and try to fix this. Though, honestly, Dark Avak is one of the better ones for doing that. Uh, it, the door is forbidden, which is a problem. Let me unforbid it. And Dark Avak, if you could get over there and start repairing. You're reasonably good at construction. So you should be able to get this going. Yoko, you're no longer allowed outside. Let's just make sure that you're going to stay in roof. That honestly, if you decided to go for that door, you'd probably kill everyone trying to come through it. Uh, so that wouldn't be necessarily too bad. Uh, evil friend, let's get you down here. I, uh, Ica, I would like you to come back. Evil friend up over there. Right, one down already. Very, very good. Have we got two coming through here? They're probably both going to go down. Uh, where is Dark Havoc? Dark Havoc is currently trading places. Down to 60%. Ah, oh, really? Who just insulted you? You insulted Lady Wolf. They're rivals again. Uh, that minus 25 is so, so wretched because it just pulls everything down. Uh, okay. Oh, I might have to send you out on another, on another journey. Right, you're already going to repair that. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's see how this one goes down. They're going for the other route. Dark Ava can at least fix that door, then that'll be fantastic. One down. Okay, they're breaking. We don't want to allow that, but Lady Wolfheart, you can go about doing other things. Dark Avak, you're heading out. Evil friend Nika, you are as well. Let's get down there as quickly as we can. Oh no, only one of them is broken. Oh. Well, actually, in that case. Hmm. Nika, you head up there. 
Dark Havoc, you, you draw back. Ah, damn. I didn't realize that that was going to be the case, but uh, it isn't actually that bad. Let's allow them to, to filter on through. Dark Havoc, let's get you over here with the combat shotgun. It's another one down. Ooh, some uh, go juice there. Wouldn't mind that, actually. In fact, let's swap positions. Okay, you can be with Dark Havoc down by there. Let's wait for this last one to get through. Salisbury, let's see how you manage to take care of these traps. You're going to go through, which means we're going to move up and Yoko's going to be released in a second. Yoko, get in there. There we go. Uh, let's see how that went down there. Uh, Dark Havoc Shotgun Blast hit Salisbury. Ika also managed to shoot them. Yoko didn't actually get in there, though. I, I'm fairly certain. Uh, let's have a look. So, oh, no, it was Salisbury that managed to shoot you in the arm. All right. Ouch. Okay, that's that's not good. That is not good. Right, you head back. Lady Wolfheart should be able to take care of you. Uh, Dark Havoc, Yoko, evil friend, let's get out there. Take care of what's left. Uh, I'm going to want all of these items allowed and forbid them all. There we go. Yoko, you're still released, so uh, you're free to run them down and slay them as you see fit. Uh, right, we're not catching up with the wolf, but uh, Nelly, I'm afraid, I'm afraid you're not getting out of this. There is no way on earth that you're going to survive this. Though that was a glancing blow. Well done. I mean, you didn't take the full brunt of the shotgun blast, at the very least. Uh, let's allow Dark Havoc to uh, catch up with you and then uh, gauge again. There we go. And again, move up. Yoko, if you want to finish them off, you're allowed to. Uh, evil friend, if you could head back and just take care of things over there. Let's have a watch of this going down. There we are. Unfortunate that they, they died, but it is what it is. Right, you can allow everything. Yoko, what is your health like? Um, your health is low enough that I don't want you going out unnecessarily. Dark Avak, I would like you to haul well honestly haul in the revolver because that is a that is a nicer item than anything else evil friend could you grab the go juice let's get well actually no go for the pump shotgun if you would be so kind uh lady wolf hearts i really need Ica to to head back you're going to rest good the moment you're resting someone should be able to take care of you and uh if we're lucky we're going to be able to get that all patched up fairly quickly. We've got we've got some basic meds now. We're not reliant on uh, on glitter world meds for everything anymore, which is nice. Right, as soon as Dark Havoc is near enough, uh, Lady Wolfheart, if you could instead haul the pump shotgun, that would be ideal. You're gonna you're gonna see the body, and that is a shame, but it is what it is. Right, Dark Havoc, if I could just have you drop what you're carrying there. Uh, no, you need to, well, actually, you might as well haul the body, uh, simply because you're going to need to be down here to pick up the meds, so this is going to speed things up a little bit. As soon as you're done with that, tend to Ica. There we go. All right, so the moment this is inside, let's uh, get that indoors, thank you. If you could clean up the blood that's everywhere, that would be amazing. Uh, Lady Wolfheart, once you've done that, if you could clean up this room as well, can we get you to take care of it? No, apparently we can't. Oh, well. Uh, now, what kind of meds did you just grab? I'm not entirely sure, but uh, let's see what we can do. Hopefully we can do enough. Uh, I think Dark Havoc may actually just be um, taking care of him just with his hands. Yeah, it does look like we did. Uh, okay. Uh, well, still, that being said, he banded it with quality 64 and set with quality 42. Dark Havoc's bionic arms clearly have some uh, some additional support functionality. Uh, that, that's that's uh, what we're going to go with, at the very least. Uh, with that done, could you bring in the body from out there? Because that one is going to start decaying. That's not exactly what we want to see. Uh, I feel that adding this to the roofed area, as it is, strictly speaking, roofed, because of the just due simply to the fact that it is in a cave, would allow Yoko to help out a lot more with uh, various hauling tasks as well. 
But there we go. Let's uh, let's bring that in. I have queued up a bit of uh, iron, or rather steel mining, where possible. But it's going to take us a little bit of time, unfortunately. And Lady Wolf out there, straight in and, and bringing in the, the last corpse. That's uh, that's a shame because it does mean you're going to see some more corpses, which is not exactly what I want us want you to do. But it is what it is. How are you doing, Ika? Hopefully you are going to recover quickly from this, but uh, who can say really? We've got plenty of rice still available, but what we no longer have is meat for Yoko, and that is quite the problem. Uh, Yoko can always go in there, though, and uh, get plenty of food uh, from from the corpses themselves, but ideally I would like to get the, the leather off them as well. As we've seen, we can get an awful lot of of money for those dusters. Dark Avaka has chosen to wear a parka for the time being over the human leather duster that is available. Uh, I guess he just feels that the cold is more of a problem than anything else. Right, okay, we've got more and more jobs to do. Uh, hopefully, we're, we're very close now to having this completely uh, double-walled in, and as a result, we're seeing the temperatures quite quite comfortable in there. But we do need to get a fair bit more work done, including, unfortunately, for quite a lot of people, we need to butcher the peeps. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to queue up all of the peeps to be butchered. It's not quite as many as I would like to do in one go, but we're just going to have to get all of that done. Uh, right now simply so that we can uh, have food for Yoko more than anything else and also the uh, the results into human leather that we can use on various other crafts but for the time being I'm just going to allow a bit of time to pass hopefully Ika will be back up on their feet in no time without an infection and we will get back to uh, to tending the fields once this heal root harvest is done I am going to feel so much more comfortable and welcome back. Okay, we've got some visitors here. We've got most of the colonists up and about at the moment. Ika is still recovering, however. Very close to completely uh, overcoming his psychite addiction, which is a fantastic news. And before that becomes a problem, perhaps we should do something about that. Now, presently, we've got a couple of quests in the wings. Most urgent of them all is the deserter. Now, we've only got 21 hours to get to, uh, five dusters and travel. We're not going to do it, so we're just going to forget about that one. But the deserter, we've got three days. Our reward, stun, vertical pulse, and wall race. Stun is probably one of the best uh, psionic abilities, in my opinion. We'll also get a psychic amplifier and a psychic silencer. Now, the psychic silencer is something we're interested in, but it's more of a long-term goal, that one. We're not going to be uh, installing that one with any great urgency. The psychic amplifier, though, is going to be excellent. Now, if we go and have a, a quick look at the world, we should see what we're going to be running up against. Evil Friend has had plenty of time at this point. Sorry about uh, clipping the uh, the microphone there. But Evil Friend has had plenty of time to give information to the group. So uh, Dark Havoc is going to be briefed on what to expect. Now, I might not exactly know the layout of where he's going, but uh, he does know what he what he's roughly looking for. What kind of uh, containers will have the, the choicest loot and also what kind of defenses he can expect it we have 2.9 days until the quest is over there's one enemy there i don't think we're going to need any more than just dark avak in yoko for this one uh, i'm going to allow dark avak to finish butchering the uh remaining uh well <laughs> they're not really prisoners the remaining uh, attackers before we head out just so that we don't stagger everyone's disappointment with that or, or their their issues furthermore before he leaves we've got enough food here i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to increase the bulk order of simple regular noms not the cook noms the dark avac likes but the simple noms that everyone else likes because dark avac is going to be gone for a little while so let's try and make sure that they've got plenty of food while he's away uh on that note we can probably also flick that switch just to make sure that we don't have any explosions while we're gone though we are going to be leaving evil friend who should hopefully be able to keep things uh safe here whilst we're away right there we go uh is there any more that we're going to be doing i don't think so dark Havoc, what are you up to uh you're not going to be doing any building work no let's have a look at your needs recreation a little bit and unfortunately that's just going to have to be the way it is because we are not going to waste any more time we need to be on the way so having a look 
And just to, to give an idea of the effect that Dark Avak and Yoko's uh, natural move speeds uh, make on things, if Dark Avak and Yoko were taking the trip alone without carrying anything, mind you, they'd make it in 1.63 days. However, if we were to bring along Evil Friend, it's now 1.76 days just because Evil Friend can't move as quickly as Dark Avak and Yoko. If we add any items as well, it's going to slow down. Hmm. Oh, that's unfortunate. Huh. We're going to bring the goat juice. We're going to bring two units of medicine just in case Dark Avak or Yoko need treatment, or both, in fact. Now, this is a real big, uh, big issue because I can't specify that Dark Avak should just bring along the cannibal meals and he could end up just loading up on meals for the others. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Uh, well, he can quite happily eat um, regular food, uh, just uh, meat. So, sure. Let's take 50 units of human meat along. It'll rot in 1.4 days. Basically, it's enough to get him there. Uh, getting back, however, is going to be a little bit more of a problem. But if we're lucky, he can stock back up on human meat whilst there. We're also going to bring along the silver because we're probably going to be making a stop in on our friends uh, on the way. The Gojus will bring along the Dark Avak. We're, we're going to war. We may as well take the Gojus. It is a combat stim. A synthetic performance enhancing drug developed for space marines during the early days of interplanetary warfare. Gojus blocks pain, increases movement speed, and improves the user's melee and shooting abilities. On that note... Ooh. Before we go, there's one thing I would like to do. Uh, where is Lady Wolfheart? Lady Wolfheart, could you please drop your Gladius? Thank you. All right, there we go. Dark Avic's going to bring the Gladius with him. There we are. Unfortunately, it does mean we need to reform the caravan, but it'll be 100% worth it to bring with us. So we're going to take 50 units of human meat. Let's Let's make that a little bit more. I think that's 60 units. I know it says it'll rot in 1.4 days, but I don't believe that that is counting the fact that Dark Avak and Yoko will be eating this. Um, though that being said, we can make four meals out of 40, so hmm, maybe just bring along 40 would be a better idea. Uh, right, with that done, we are going to bring along the Go Juice. We want to bring along the Gladius and the Silver. And of course, before anyone worries, We'll also be bringing along the human leather bedroll, because of course it's going to be the human leather bedroll. I didn't plan that, it's just the way it worked out, because fate. But that is going to be all we need. And with that set in, it'll take us 1.7 days to get there. Uh, our food will have rotted by then, so uh, we'll be a little bit hungry when we get there. But that just means that Dark Avak and Yoko will fight with uh, added ferocity. Uh, I think this should be fine. Carnival. Uh, zero requires uh, for reference simple meals have 0 0.9 nutrition you will eat 0 0.4 so we'll eat 2 nutrition per day that's that's uh, not too bad all things said and done I think we're ready to go so there we are let's uh, just mark that down once more and accept get to it everyone this is going to be interesting. We will see how, how this plays out. I'm sorry, Dark Avak. I know you were just about to sleep, but no. Grab the Gladius, grab the food, grab the bedroll and the silver, and be on your way. There we go. And they should be ready to go. And our guests are leaving as well. Okay, Dark Avak is leaving the colony in the capable hands of Evil Friend, who will hopefully be able to keep everything from falling apart while we're gone. An unusual cold snap has set in. Cold snaps can quickly kill by hypothermia. Well, I mean, we're probably going to need to install heaters in here. Unfortunate, but uh, also not entirely unexpected. Right now, I don't believe the heat that we're getting from the geotherm is even remotely close enough to what we're gonna need, but we probably don't need much more. I'm going to set up two to be made. Simply so that we can have one set to low heat, one set to high, and that should help out a little bit in there. But while Stark Havoc is away, Lady Wolfheart, you can use his bed. 
that will keep things nice and easy and we can also uninstall this so if you wouldn't mind you can just go ahead and uninstall that and then hopefully head off to sleep if uh, if you can there you go Ica. don't you worry we will get the rest of the room built out for you it should be did you just give Ica half of the meal i hmm that seems that seems a little bit grim hmm I'm not sure I approve. I, I mean, I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe he's like, Ike, you're not moving around, so you need less food. You're burning less calories while you're sick. That isn't actually true. Uh, quite, in many, many cases, you get more hungry while sick because your body's doing more work. But, uh, oh, well, I, 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 I get, at least Ike got, got first refusal and it's only Termite who's having to, to eat the leftovers. Either way, my Lord. Now, Termite, I really hope you don't have to cook. But if you have nothing else to do, I guess you can. But ideally, not cooking would be great because your skill is so low, it's pretty much a guarantee that people are going to get sick from it. Now, we're going to be at our destination in 0 0.9 days, so I'm going to bring you back when the caravan is almost there. See you soon. Oh dear. It looks like the red sneak, Ambercan, he heard. The dark Avak and Yoko were away from the colony, and this is exactly what they've been waiting for. Okay, let's have a look. We've got six attackers. They are largely equipped with ranged. Uh, the Equa can kind of do uh, do a little bit of both. Uh, no, actually, sorry, that's the Peeler. Um, uh, so it's a, I guess it's a mix. Either way, though, with six, we're going to need to take three down before they're willing to break. That is not ideal. Uh, okay, well, Lady Wolfheart, if you could equip the incendiary launcher, that would be ideal. We are running low on food, unfortunately. This is going to cause us some problems. Uh, we've got decent equipment here, though. Now, depending on where they're going to come through, we can possibly lure them into a bit of a nasty encounter here. If I have... Let's have a look at your needs. You actually, you don't need much, so you'll serve as bait. Let's pop you over here. Now, if we're lucky, they are going to, and we're going to make sure that people are only allowed in the roofed area, just to be certain that no one decides to go outside. They will rush up through here. They will trigger these traps and then hit that one as they're going up. I can go stand there. There we go. This will do a little bit better for us. Uh, let's have a watch of this one. Dog leather pants have rotted away. Well, that does happen. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like they're going to take the bait. No, there we go. Black has been wounded, but not killed. Dead in 10 hours, mind you, but still, that's a little bit unfortunate. Right, I'm locking this door. We don't want anyone to use that one accidentally. Same with this one. That one is going to be locked. How close are you guys? Well, we're probably going to be through this fight before all of that is done. Oh, there we go. One down. Perfect. Lady Wolfheart, I do need you back here right now let's get down there really you decided to just go and attack that random wall i mean sure if you really want to but uh it seems like a bit of a silly thing to do all right i need you guys to switch positions Ica, you can go and hold this position now lady wolfheart has some flames ready to uh to douse the attackers in now this is a this is an interesting one because you seem to be equipped largely with with uh, primitive weapons, but you are actually wearing complex clothing. This is uncommon. Now let's see how good your shooting is. Come on! Oh, perfect shot! That is glorious. Yes, but you are now in a bit of a pickle. Uh, draw back, both of you, please. Let him try to get in. The fact that he's on fire is perfect. Right, let's move you down there, Lady Wolfheart. You can uh, stand guard, hopefully. Ponk. There we are, perfect. So that's two down. Uh, one is bleeding out. Evil friend, I want you to move in, and then Ike is going to back you up. If we're lucky, we should be able to do a lot of damage here. Ike, can you move up? There you go. Evil friend, come on. Another shot, please. Well done. Come on. And again. Okay, both of you pull back inside. 
Get inside. Don't let them take a shot at you. There we are. That's all we needed to do. Now, these fires aren't going to be a problem for us. They, uh, they're not going to spread. The only issue here is, well, actually, if we move Lady Wolfheart up, Black is slow enough. Actually, Lady Wolfheart, put that fire out there. Uh, food binge. No, this is the worst possible. Why? In the middle of a fight. It's like, I remember that time. How, how long ago was it? Let, let's find out. How long ago was this insult to you? You chatted about breakfast. This is a long time ago. Evil friend, verbally appreciated. Ica's personal habits. Uh, oh, that, sorry, that's uh, evil friend we were looking at there. When were you insulted? Uh, you... It was quite some time ago. You just couldn't let it drop. It's been there, nagging at the back of your mind this entire time. And you finally just couldn't handle it anymore. Ah. <sighs> My goodness. Yes, I, I know. You're, you're staring at a corpse, and it's never a pleasant thing. I appreciate that, but you do need to uh, hopefully deal with the attackers. Now, Black is a perfect one because they're so badly wounded. There we are. Well done. It's one down. Uh, let's have a look at Duck. Duck is also quite badly wounded, so there's every possibility that they're going to go down here in the first hail of bullets. There we are. They're round in the corner. A couple of decent shots. Come on. Another one, please. There we are. And they're broken. Fantastic work, everyone. Rush up. Now, Duck, let's have a look at you. You're incapable of caring. You're an undergrounder and you've got bloodlust. Ooh. Now, bloodlust would be particularly good because you would be amazing with handling desiccated corpses. You don't care. You, you just do not care. You won't eat a person, but you don't care about clean, um, cleaning things up. Also, you will appreciate human skin clothing, I believe. Um, let's have a look at your health, though. You'll be dead in nine hours. I think we might be able to save you. I think we may be able to do something about this. All right, you guys move forward. I'm going to need everything that has gone down to be claimed and forbid all. Lady Wolfheart, this is going to be a bit of a tricky one, actually. For now, let's just pop a sleeping spot. Uh, oh, actually, no. We do have an alpaca wool bed. All right. We're going to pop that in there. Let's get you guys up there as fast as we can. Uh, actually, Ica, as you've got a short-range weapon, I would like you to prioritize working on that. Evil friend, you're going to chase them down. Let's try and get out there as quickly as we can. I should have gone through the uh, colony, rather. But, uh, oh well. It's a thing that's happened. Now, do we even much care about Stork? Let's have a quick look at you, Stork. You're incapable of none. You're volatile. Okay, you're, you're on a hair trigger at all times. You're the first to break in any tough situation, but you're nimble and you're kind. Now, these are nice qualities. You're very young. You're only 17. You've seen some crazy stuff. And you're kind of always, always anxious as a, as a result. No, no, I, 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 can, I can get that. If we can take you alive, we will. But honestly, Stork's moving pretty fast. Let's have a quick look at you. Now, that being said, 90% there. So, let's see. How fast are you moving? Move speed 3.15. Evil friend. Let's have a quick gander at you. Move speed 3.31. It'll be close. And there's a point where we really have to wonder, is it worth it? You'll, depending on which way he goes, if Stork goes up and around that way, we'll give chase. And he did. Okay, because there's going to be more open open uh, area, and Evil Friend may be able to shoot from the cover of a roof. But the moment you're around this, we're going to give up the uh, pursuit. Ah, it looks like it is. Oh, well. You tried your best, Evil Friend, but they made it. Uh, well done for them, I guess. Ica, could you rescue Duck? Or rather, capture duck, I suppose. Uh, we've got some beer, though. We've got a couple of odds and ends. That was not a bad engagement, considering everything that went down there. There were quite a few attackers. Lady Wolfheart is our doctor, however. Well, I guess, evil friend, you're going to have to do it in a pinch. The very least, you can, you can pat down the wounds, make them less horrific. I really do wish Lady Wolfheart hadn't chosen that moment to remember that she was insulted, but oh well, it's a thing that has happened. 
Uh, okay. All right. Well, let's let's allow you to get over there. Now, how how close are you to death, Duck? Six hours. Evil friend will do the best he can. You are allowed herbal meds, but that's all you can have. War merchant from the Green Yak Combat. Well, you chosen a good time to drop by, actually. Okay, let's go and have a look at Dark Havoc. Dark Havoc is on his way. Uh, still a little ways out. Okay. Like, uh, once you're awake, if you could clean everything up, that would be grand. Uh, could we also get that light flicked? And... Once you're done treating duck, that would be the time to take care of that. Really? Well, at least you have the rice to eat, I suppose. It could be worse. He's no longer in at risk of dying, which is grand, but uh, every time someone walks past these corpses, it's going to sour their mood. It's quite unfortunate, really. Uh, okay, Lady Wolfheart is, generally speaking, our trader. Uh, let's have a quick gander. Who's... Well, actually, Evil Friend isn't so bad. Evil Friend will be able to negotiate. So, all right. Go ahead and have a, tra uh, have a trade. Evil Friend and Ike are at minor risk of, of a break, but all things considered, that fight went particularly well. I, I've got to be honest. I, it went better than I was expecting. Right, well, let's see what we can trade for. Okay, now we've made quite a bit of money here, largely because we had so many human leather dusters ready to sell. We are, of course, keeping the good one for Dark Havoc on his return. Uh, there are a couple of war masks, and in lieu of other um, headgear, I think we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna buy a couple of them. Uh, it's not like it's going to really impact the money we make here. Uh, I am also going to make a purchase of a couple of herbal meds because, uh, frankly, these will be very useful. We aren't too far away from being able to make our own, but for the time being, I think this should be good. Right, there we go. Let's uh, make the trade. Fa uh, thank you very much. Uh, if you could, of course, outside of roofed area, that's fine. Go ahead and haul that in for me. There we are. Right, we should be good. Right, we made a trade, so uh, they're reasonably happy with that one. But we are going to need to get those corpses in fairly soon. I'm uh, terribly sorry to say. Uh, unfortunately, your friend is going to eat the uh, cooked noms there, the, the cannibal noms. Not the best of times. Not going to lie. Would have been best if he hadn't, but oh well. Following that, I am afraid to say I'm going to need you to pretty much just do hauling for a while. We need all of these things brought in. Oh, damn it, we haven't picked up that bow. That's a shame, because that would probably have made us a little bit of cash, but, uh, ah, well, it's not uh, its not the end of the world. We did still make quite a lot of money, all things con uh, considered. All right, so that one wasn't too bad. Dark Havoc, how far out are you? You're only 0 0.1 day until you reach your destination. Well, that's uh, pretty good timing, then, for everything there, though. Uh, yeah, Lady Wolfheart and Evil Friend, they're not in the best uh, situation, really. That is absolutely dire pretty much the entire rice harvest just died <sighs> well at least Iker is up he might be able to get that sorted right the caravan has arrived at the outpost let's go and uh, check this out not like we have already got loads of things going on uh okay well, this looks pretty pretty good actually we've got some interesting items around the place a lot of marble over there and no exterior turret. Now, I don't know if that means that there's no interior turret. But for the time being, let's assume that there is not. Right, go ahead, have some food, enjoy. And then we're going to go into this fight. There we go, let's move. All right, slow things down. Now, no one's on the outside. Yoko's close with. Perhaps... Right, we can... Okay, we now know where the enemy is. And the enemy is armed with a gun. All right. Given that, then... Let's see. What items are you carrying? I want you to drop that. And I also want you to drop the shotgun. I want you to equip the Gladius. And then I would like you to pick up the shotgun. There we go. Perfect. Now then. 
How are we going to do this? We want to try and approach uh, Volcanic Winter. Uh, that's not really going to make much of a difference. If you pop back indoors... No, you do not. Okay. Well, let's just wait around the corner. Hmm. Hopefully they, they duck around this edge. There, perfect. Let's make a move. Yoko, with me. We need to make a charge for them. You're released. Get in there. Dark Avak, push. There we go. We're in close quarters. Dark Avak should be the victor here. You're not particularly good at melee, and you're not armed with a melee weapon. Industrious Greedy, tough. Uh, let's have a look at your gear. You have got a flag vest, but generally speaking, I suspect the Dark Avak is going to be the one to win this fight. Let's have a have a look at you. You've got a small crush on the on the left lung. Wow, that must have been quite the blow, especially considering you're wearing armor. That was quite the blow. He broke a broke a rib, and the the rib punctured a lung. Is, is all I can assume there. Uh, unfortunately, our enemy here is not faring quite as badly. There we go. Dark Avak is hurt, but uh, now that Yoko's in here. This should be a fairly one-sided fight. There we go. Oh, Yoko was stunned. Must have taken a bit of a blow to the old noggin there. All right, well done. Let's have a look. No immediate danger. How about Yoko? Wow. That, that is harsh. He, he smashed Yoko in the snout with the butt of their rifle. Uh, let's have a, a quick look at how this went down then. So, from the outset, Dark Avak kicked a spray of gravel in Athanasia's eyes. Dark Avak, handling his bionic arm, deftly beat Athanasia in the left leg. Athanasia poked Dark Avak, uh, poking his left lung at How? Through his body armor? <laughs> what kind of crazy... Uh, I, what? I have no idea. Oh. Oh, wait. Did you have... No. No, you didn't. Okay. Uh, I was going to say, perhaps he had a bionic. Has Dark Ava got any... No, he doesn't have any toxic buildup. It, it could have been like a, a, a spike of some sort. It could still be the case. Uh, let's continue looking through. Uh, Dark Avak punctured uh, Athanasia in the right arm, leaving a horrific wound. Dark Avak struck Athanasia in the right leg. Athanasia kicked gravel in Dark Avak's eyes, jabbed Dark Avak in the right leg, leaving an area visibly deformed. Dark Avak, using a gladius, dexterously cut Athanasia, tearing her right foot. Athanasia slammed Dark Avak in the left leg, leaving an area visibly deformed. Wow. Dark Avak was not having uh, a good time with this. Uh, Dark Avak, wielding his Gladius deftly, viciously slashed Athanasia in the left leg. Going for the leg shots, interestingly enough, both of them. Athanasia hit Dark Avak in the torso, trying to find that uh, that sweet spot in the, the kink in his armor so she could poke him in the lung once again. Yoko nipped Athanasia in the right leg. Dark Avak slammed Athanasia in the right leg. Yoko kicked gravel in Athanasia's eyes. See? See? Yoko. Yoko's very well trained. Wargs aren't just big dogs. No, 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 no. They they are expert hunters. They can adapt to any tactics. They observe a tactic in combat. They will forever absorb that tactic into their arsenal. Yoko nipped Athanasia in the left hand. Athanasia missed Yoko with a slam from her left fist. Yoko scratched Athanasia with her right claw, scratching her left arm and left shoulder. Then gnawed Athanasia with her razor fangs, wounding her left arm. Athanasia hit Yoko in the nose, desperately just flailing to try and get away from those razor fangs. Yoko wobbled from Athanasia's attack. A lot of sensitive nerves, nerves in uh, in Wag's snout, don't you know? Dark Avak, wielding his gladius deftly, painfully slashed Athanasia in the left shoulder in retribution for the underhanded tactic going for a Wag's nose. That's just not cricket. And Athanasia perished from shame. Also from, you know, being slashed several times, but mostly from shame. Never be desperate enough to, to, to punch a wag in the nose. That's just wrong. Okay, now uh, we may be able to hang tight here for a little bit. But the first thing is, let's hope there are beds. Now, uh, the enemy came out of this room. Uh, actually, can you go in there? I want to know what's in here because if there are beds, that's fantastic. Oh, there are, there are beds. Absolutely marvelous. Right, there are a few things we're going to want to do. Uh, I'm afraid, Yoko. Well, I could tear down the beds, but I, I still wouldn't be able to make uh, a particularly nice uh, bit of furniture for you. So it's animal sleeping spot for now. Uh, I'm going to make a small stockpile zone right there. Uh, Dark Avak, could you drop them? Oh, 
Yoko, do you have medicine? Did I not bring medicine? I was sure I had. Perhaps I did not. That is quite unfortunate. I'll be honest. Should have also possibly consumed the go juice since I brought it with me, but oh well. Okay. Um, you know what? Then I'm going to expand that out. Also, I'm going to run. Uh, well, we need to claim everything inside here as well so that uh, the game understands that these are now mine. We will then uninstall the Fire Foam Popper. Might be useful for us in a, in a little bit. Dark Avex having a, a rest. Uh, how about I make sure that you tend yourself first? So. Actually, prioritize tending Yoko, then tend yourself. There you go. Once that's done, we'll go and investigate this room. That must be the treasure room that Evil Friends spoke of, where they keep their uh, their army supplies, the Psy casts and trainers. Yoko, you'll be fine. You got smacked in the snout. Dark Avak just gently, gently uh, stroked the fur the right way. You know, cleaned up a, a bit of the the blood, uh, just dribbling from your nostrils. It's it's fine. Yoko, Yoko, will sleep it off. It'll, it's not going to be a problem. Uh, though I'm more impressed that Dark Avak managed to uh, to suture his lung with just his bare hands. That that is that is Dark Avak has been through some crazy stuff. If these are his skills, uh, we are going to want to tear this place down though, because the wood is going to be incredibly incredibly valuable to us so that's definitely something we're going to want to take care of we will throw together a butchering table butcher the corpse uh, i imagine as a corpse is going to be a little bit too much for uh for dark Avatar to just carry around but for the time being i think that's going to be it for this episode we've done a reasonably good job evil friend is dutifully Taking care of all the things I asked him to haul. This is this is not his his best day. He's cooked cannibalism, tired, observed corpses, so many. Oh my god, uh, we've been butchering people. This is this is pretty rough. But on the plus side, beer. So you know, uh, there, there's pros and there are cons. We've got a new prisoner who we're going to need to start wearing down. Uh, going to want to start working on your resistance there, duck. Termite and duck. Hopefully uh, they get on. But uh, let's actually have a quick quick look. The uh, red snake amber can. Uh, let's just double check. Yep. I'm fairly certain. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, the people of Branner. They're not, they're not friends. No. No. Let's hope that they, they don't decide to set upon each other and, and just like, you know, settle old grievances. Though if they do... One less mouth to feed? I suppose possibly two. Though that would be a little bit of a shame because we do want to recruit at least one of them. But that's where we're going to be ending today's episode. I am going to have to have Ica, it seems, manually just tear down all of the, the plants over here. That's kind of a pain in the bum, but uh, it's a thing that's going to need to happen fairly soon. Uh, let me go make sure that uh, Ica's plant cut is... Well, actually, Ica's plant cut should be high enough that, that they'll take care of it on their own. But uh, yeah, it looks like they are. Good old Ica. But that's going to be it for all of us for now. Dark Avak is just going to have to check out what's in the treasure room in the next episode. Because, come on, this is a Dark Avak let's play. You were expecting me not to troll you with a cliffhanger right at the end? Oh, for shame. You knew what you were signing up for. But I'm afraid that is going to have to be it for me. We have pretty much run out of time. So, as ever, do leave a like if you liked, and sub if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next episode. But until then, do take care.